Um, my name is AJ Zambanini. I am the Director of Product Management here at Conair. Um, usually I work in the drying space. I'm also the drying product manager, but today I'm going to talk to you about one of our conveying products. So before I get into that, who is Conair? Um, we are a basically a single source material handling company for the plastics industry. So start with the silos, rail car unloading equipment, um, in-plant conveying systems, large installations, vacuum conveying systems, gravimetric blending and dosing, water systems all the way from little temperature control units and portable chillers, all the way up to central water systems, and even downstream extrusion equipment where we can make a small brain stint for an infant, all the way up to large capacity um, industrial pipe. Um, today I'm going to talk about the RSS station, the RSS with RFID. So what does that uh, alphabet soup actually stand for? The first thing is RSS, which is the resin selection station. This is not new to Conair, it may be new to some of you, especially if you do a lot of press side molding. Um, what it is is typically a fantail manifold, and this is what, when someone says fantail, this is what they mean. Typically you'll have a single source come in here, maybe it's a drying hopper, maybe it's a box of material, um, oftentimes it's a silo, and then that can split out to multiple destinations, sometimes one or two, um, other times up to six, right? So we can have a single source supplying multiple machines, even if they have multiple different vacuum pumps. So where this helps out, ultimate flexibility. You can see here I have four different rows representing four different sources. So, you know, with the movement of just one hose, I can go from drying hopper one to drying hopper two, grinder one to grinder three, silo one to silo four. I can make that change on the fly. Um, the other thing it does is it can clean up your floor space. So if you're someone who uses um, material next to the press, um, now that can go back to some warehouse somewhere and we can convey out to your machines cleans up the floor. So I used to be a customer, one thing I would see a lot of times is people would open up multiple boxes of the same material because they're running it at each individual machine, right? Now you could have that one box split out to multiple machines. So you're only opening the material you need. It can be better for material management. The other thing from an installation, it can be cleaner and sometimes a lot more cost effective. So instead of running you know, dozens of lines back to each individual silo, we can run a single source and then split it off from this manifold. And it gives us a lot of flexibility here. Um, so that's an RSS station. The second part is the RFID portion. So truth be told, one of the maybe issues of using this back in a warehouse is you have no visibility of where you're sending that material and where it's coming from. So it's kind of like when you, if you ever had to pay for gas at the gas pump, you go in there and they say what pump and the first thing you're thinking is, you know, I don't know. You know, you're looking out the window. It's hard to do here and maybe lends itself to making mistakes. So RFID is radio frequency identification. So instead of us having wires hanging down from the ceiling we have to plug in, we have readers underneath this table. And each one of these little cams that you see here will dip into that reader and it's going to tell us if this is in the right location or not. So it's going to proof the table. Uh, make sure you don't send the, the wrong stuff to the wrong place. We can't convey if the, if the connection is not proofed. Um, we've done it a little bit different. I think, you know, myself, I'm guilty of it. I use the words intuitive, smart, easy to use, right? What that really means to me is you shouldn't have to be a computer programmer to figure out how to do this, right? You're getting a lot, a lot of new operators constantly, people coming and going, and you've got to do this training. So we can have someone like Chad, who's maybe our supervisor here, set up the system, and then our operators can follow these easy-to-understand lights. And I don't know if you guys can see them on the table or not, but definitely come up and check it out when we're all done. They just follow the lights. It's like a game of Simon. They come in here and they try to figure out where to put these, uh, these pipes and these hoses. So consider that this is a pretty easy to understand table. It's only got four sources, right? What if it had 12, 20, 32? And you get in front of that and it's very intimidating. It looks like the most confusing game of Battleship you ever played. Up seven over four. I don't know where I'm supposed to put these pipes. So Chad's going to make a change here on the uh, Smart FLX. And that's going to tell us what to do. That's going to start the sequence. So go ahead, Chad. All right, so Chad made a, a, a change. And now what the first thing I see on the table is that hose, that machine, that thing I need to change is blinking yellow. It's telling me this is the hose you need to remove. Again, pretty easy to understand because it's a small table. What if it wasn't? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this connection out. The next thing that happens Boom, this row changes to flashing blue. And it's saying, I can put this anywhere in this row. So now out of this whole table, I know exactly where I can put it. And I can put it in any one of these spots that's flashing blue. 
I'm going to put it in. All right, I'll put it in here. And it's green, so I'm good. If it wasn't good, it'd be red. I don't know how you can mess that up, but if it's red, it's not going to convey material to the, to the wrong place. If it's green, you're good to go. The cycle can start. One thing you might have noticed um, when I pulled this out is this little cam here. So again, this is another, call it innovation to make things easier. If you've ever used one of these, regardless of how organized you are, it gets a little bit tough. You got hoses everywhere. Hoses want to do what they want to do. So, you know, if you've got a stretch from here over to here, you might have to go over another hose. You might have to twist and turn. And I've got a RFID reader I have to hit here. So we built in this clocking mechanism that lets you put the hose where the hose wants to go, and then you move the tag where the tag needs to be. So little things like that are built into the system. Pretty easy to use, pretty easy to understand. Um, the FLX that Chad is using is part of our consolidated control platform. So after this, if you guys take a look around, uh, you'll notice that our dryer, our blender, our FLX control, they all kind of look the same. That's so your users have the, the most consistent experience when they go to each thing. Even the TCU, which is this four inch screen, has the same look and feel. And it's not just a shrunken down version where you can't actually hit any buttons because you can't see it. It's just a reimagined version, but you totally understand how to get into it. The way you set the network address, the units, the language, the way you go into the help menus, the way the alarms work, it's all the same across the board. So that way, if you can understand one Conair product, you can kind of understand all of those Conair products. As far as the table's concerned, it's wired at Conair. We do all that work here. We drop it on the floor, and then you can see there's one Ethernet cable that runs between this and our Smart Off Lex system. Now they talk together. You're ready to rip, no problem. The last thing that this thing is going to give you is some traceability. So I know who changed what, when, and where they changed it to. So if you need some feedback or some reporting capability to say, this is where my material started. This is where it ended. I know that you, Mr. Customer, got the material you were supposed to get, and I know when it was changed. We have that documentation reporting that you could actually print out. So definitely, I think it's, it's probably better something you know, done than seen or, or discussed. So come up afterwards. These guys will be here all week. Um, you can move these little you know, uh, ports around, try to confuse it, see what happens. Um, from an advancement standpoint, we do have new software that lets you schedule these changes. So you can have a dozen of these changes pre-scheduled from someone like Chad, but then all the operator has to do is say go. And they say next. So every time your mold is changed and you're ready to rip, they just say go. We can even take those tags from the ERP system so we can take the people out of it. The ERP system will schedule these pairs, and now all you have to do is say go. You follow the lights. Everything's proofed. So that's what we got today. I really appreciate you guys taking the time. Um, Hopefully uh, that answered all your questions and we'll be around if you need us.